Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm Wendell Edwards. We are in an early warning weather alert today for weather tomorrow. Let's get right to meteorologist Scott Haney for an update. Hey, Scott. Hey, Wendell. Thanks so much. Uh, we are taking a look at some pretty rough conditions. You might see a flirt tomorrow. You might see a flurry out there in southwest Connecticut this morning, but for the most part, we are scanning the state dry, and it was a beautiful sunrise. I've got some of those shots coming up for you in just a second. Getting on the bus, the kids back to the winter gear. Forget the shorts and the t-shirts from yesterday. It was 71 degrees at Bradley yesterday. Record-breaking temperatures of both Bradley and in Bridgeport. Unbelievable. This morning, 26, and the real feel makes it chillier, all right, with a little bit of a breeze we've got out there 30 to 33 by lunch and recess. I think the kids will be outside, but they're going to need that coat. And for the ride home, 33 to 36, half of what we had yesterday. There's that dramatic skyline I was talking about in Hartford, like a picture painting. Beautiful in Old Saybrook. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous this morning? And we'll take you to New Haven where the temperature is 28 degrees with a wind out of the north at eight, making it feel a little bit cooler. So temperatures uh, 19 to 29 is the spread. Pretty tight temperature gradient this morning. Everybody's chilly, and there's that breeze, 10 to 16 miles an hour, making it feel like 7, 8, 9. Oh, that's brutal compared to where we were just 24 hours ago, right? Yesterday morning, we were in the mid-50s. And this morning, it feels like it's in the single digits. Ridiculous. All right, now as we move through the day today, maybe a little uh, partial sunshine with temperatures moving up into the mid to upper 30s. More of the same for the immediate shoreline. Temperatures moving up into the mid to upper 30s. But as you can see, satellite and radar, yeah, there are some holes in the action, so you might see some limited sunshine. But according to early morning futurecast, things get interesting after midnight tonight. That's when we expect the snow to develop. It's going to be snowing heavily from about 1 a.m. to about 6 a.m. Look at this. Look at that. Look at these bands of snow pushing through the state. But even the mix starts to take place along the shoreline around 2 a.m. And that mix stays down near the shoreline through 4 a.m. But by 6, 7 o'clock, it starts making its way inland Connecticut, sleet and freezing rain, all the way up to the mass border by 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, this particular system has it winding down around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Some of the other models have it continuing a little bit longer, but uh, we'll wait and see what happens. In the meantime, we've got a winter storm watch in effect for our four northern counties, a winter weather advisory in effect for our four southern counties tonight through tomorrow evening. Snow begins late tonight after midnight, heavy at times, one possibly even one and a half, maybe two inches an hour for a brief period of time, like a three to four hour window, enough to plow by the morning commute. Tomorrow, a transition to a mix inland over to rain along the immediate shoreline. Sleet and freezing rain is a possibility, could get icy and dicey on the roads. Precip ends as snow during the evening rush. Not a whole lot of snow for the evening rush, but we're just throwing that out there for good measure. Here's what you can expect. Two to four for the shoreline, four to eight for central, and eight plus for northern Connecticut up against the mass border. Mostly cloudy, colder today. Sun was up at 633. Beautiful sunrise. Sunsets at 535. It might be a beautiful sunset as well. All right, tomorrow we've issued an early morning weather alert for the snow changing over to sleet and freezing rain and maybe even some plain rain along the shoreline. That'll keep the totals down there. And then the weekend looks cold, but sunny on Saturday, partly to mostly cloudy on Sunday. Monday, really chilly, 28 degrees, and then the temperatures start to moderate for Tuesday and Wednesday in the mid-30s Tuesday, lower 40s by Wednesday. Where are those 70-degree readings? Mm -mm -mm. All right, it's 7.04. We'll send it back to Wendell for a check of uh, the rest of the news. Hey, Wendell. Uh, thank you. Breaking news in Ukraine today. Overnight, that nation is reeling after Russian troops invaded across several borders. Russia launched an all-out attack. Ukraine's president says he's cutting diplomatic ties with Russia now. And so far, 40 people have been killed as this attack is ongoing. One ally calling it Europe's darkest hour since World War II. Russia claims it doesn't want to occupy Ukraine, but warned of consequences to any nation that interferes. Frankly, um, I mean, to have this completely unprovoked bombing attack on these two major cities that are uh, industrial centers, educational centers, historic treasures, um, you know, this is showing Vladimir Putin for being the monster and complete psychopath that he is. The invasion has been widely condemned around the world. More breaking news this time at home. An early morning fire destroyed a shopping plaza in Bristol. Take a look. That fire broke out just before 2 this morning on Main Street. The plaza is home to several businesses, including a pizza restaurant, a dance studio, and a diner. The fire chief says all those businesses were destroyed. There were no injuries.
New this morning, the State Department of Public Health now recommends your children mask up in school even after the statewide school mask mandate ends. That mandate is set to expire Monday. Then individual districts can make their own call on whether or not to require your students wear masks. From the ashes of tragedy to the outpouring of caring that is now impacting an entire community. So last week, a fire at a Hampton condo complex forced 50 families out of their homes and the town asked for donations to help them recover and boy did the town respond. The generosity was so great that today the Hampton Community Services Group will be hosting a clothing giveaway from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Clarion Hotel. Now the goal is to help others in the community who are in need now that the victims of the fire have gotten their assistance. We thank you so much for tuning into Eyewitnesses. Remember, stay weather aware. You can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you back here tomorrow.